So on this video, I'll be talking about um, how to give the intramuscular and uh, intra and, and some cantenous injection. Now, I'm going to use this goat as an example. Shift to, shift to. I'm going to shift to man. I'm going to use this goat as an example. Now, the injection point for goats are usually on the neck. On the neck, that is where I mostly use on my farm. I don't know where you inject your own goats. But it's always advisable to inject on the neck for goods. Now, if I want to give what is called the intramuscular, the intramuscular, all you have to do is you inject directly into the body. That is intramuscular. It's going to the muscles, into the body muscles. Now, this is my needle and a 20 gauge uh, uh, pin for injecting. That's, this is the syringe and this is the 20 gauge needle for injecting. So all I have to do is for intramuscular is I put it directly, directly, I put it directly, directly. That's basically intramuscular. Now, if I want to inject in subcontinuous, subcontinuously, I will have to raise a food. Shift to Nadine. I will have to raise the food, the skin food. I have to raise the food, almost like me raising a food from my skin. From my skin, you raise a food, you make a food, which is like this. You have to make a food. So that you don't inject directly into the muscle. You inject behind the muscle tissues. So that's basically it. You have to make a food. I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm saying. Make a food on the neck. Make a food. Raise a skin. Raise the skin. Hold it like this. And then you put it at an angle of 45 degrees. Angle of 45 degrees. So assuming this is a goat I want to inject. I, I, this goat is not sick. So there's no reason to inject it. Just for experimental. It's just for um, practical purposes. So I'll raise a skin here and I'll put my needle like this at an angle of 45. Don't inject the right. If you inject the right, it might enter the muscles. So you, you have to raise the skin and then you put your needle. So, Joe. So um, that was uh, what I wanted to you, tell you guys today. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys on this video. So, um, so next time you want to inject subcontinuously or intramuscular. You now know how to do it. So that's basically it on today's video. Thank you and keep uh, watching the channel and keep following the channel. Thank you.